So last night we had our guild meeting talking about all things related to The War Within, which is the upcoming expansion for World of Warcraft, a game which I do play on a regular basis. It's not the main thing that I do on the channel, but I do quite enjoy World of Warcraft, and I have been looking forward to the World Soul Saga since it was first announced uh, late last year. That's actually when I got into World of Warcraft for the first time. I had played it before, but hadn't really ever gave it serious intent. But now that it has become very much a single-player RPG with great cinematics and storytelling elements and easy grouping and things of that nature, um, you know, we have a community of people we play with, and we do the group-based elements together. And for the most part, I probably spend about 90% of my time in World of Warcraft just doing solo content because there's a lot to see and do. The new uh, expansion launches in August, uh, but the pre-patch for the expansion starts July 23rd. If you want to watch the full guild meeting, it's about 45 minutes long, I think. I put it up on YouTube just like I always do for all our guild meetings. But essentially, um, once July 23rd hits, we're going to be wrapping up the Panda Remix, and we're going to be moving into the Radiant event that's going to be taking place, uh, which starts July 30th. Now, from July 23rd onwards, we're going to be doing single-player storylines because there are some quest prereqs that you have to do to get your characters ready for the uh, storyline stuff that's coming with the 23rd, which is the beginning intro story. It's probably only going to be an hour or two's worth of content, but I have multiple characters that I want to go through that storyline with to have them prepped and ready for the War Within, so I'll be working on that from the 23rd onwards. Also, the 23rd is when we get War Bands, which is one of the most anticipated features of World of Warcraft, the War Within expansion, which is where everything is becoming account-wide instead of character uh wide. So all of your reputation, everything, your bank, your crafting uh, mats, all that's shared between your warband, and the warband is just all the characters that you have across all the servers. So that system gets introduced on the 23rd, as well as the new flying system, um, Skyflight, I think is what it's called, which is going to revamp hundreds of in-game mounts and uh, let them be adaptive, uh, adaptable so that you can switch between flying modes, which means like the disc that I have for my Frost Mage, I'm going to now be able to use it with the Dragonflight mode and be able to do flips and spins and dives and all sorts of other really cool stuff, and I cannot wait to play him on stream because that kind of stuff is really cool because um, you can already do it with the Dragons, which is awesome, but to be able to do it with a little floating disc mount as a mage, it's pretty cool. And uh, Transmog now is for for everything. Like, it's all intermixable. So there's a ton of cool stuff happening July 23rd. So what can you expect to see from my channel moving forward? Uh, Wednesday nights, for sure, are going to become World of Warcraft nights once again. Uh, barring any weather. So I'm still in the middle of hurricane season right now. We're in July. That will continue until October. So we tend to get storms at 4 or 5 in the evening. My plan is to stream from 5 to 7, 5 to 8 in the evenings on Wednesday nights, World of Warcraft adventures. But again, weather dependent because normally I stream in the mornings. Um, that's one of the reasons I chose the morning slot, like 11 a.m. to you know 2 p.m. or so, because I we tend to not have issues with storms at those hours. If we're going to have issues, it's in the late afternoon. Um, and possibly we will be returning to Saturday morning and Sunday morning sessions. But for the moment, all I can confirm is that um, Wednesday nights I will be playing, and Saturday nights are the raids. So we're going to be doing raids on Saturday night. And uh, the first few weeks of The War Within, we're going to be doing just things like transmog and, and you know, harvesting nights and things while everybody gets leveled up and gets through the storyline. We're going to start the actual War Within raids for us. We're going to start in mid-October is the current plan. So you want to know more? Uh, go check out the guild meeting that got launched last night. It's a you know, 45-minute chunk of time, so uh, if you want to know more about what we're doing. We are on the MoonGuard server. I know we've had people reaching out. Um, recruitment is currently in a um, closed status until the War Within launches. If you are interested in joining us on the MoonGuard server, you'll need to reach out through my personal Discord, which is linked down below and go to the World of Warcraft channel. And uh, once the War Within starts, you can reach out. If you reach out to me now, it doesn't do any good. I'm going to forget. I'm not going to bookmark you. Um, just if you're interested, come knocking on the door once the War Within goes live, and we will discuss um, potentially getting you an application into the guild. In the meantime, we are closed for recruitment until further notice because we have a good core of people, and we're going to be uh, moving forward with those people into the War Within and only recruiting on an as-needed basis um, from the applicants who apply. So space is limited. Let me know. 
we do raid on Saturday nights at 8 p.m. Central, normal modes only. We don't do heroic or mythical. We're just here for the story and to have fun as a community. We also play other things together, like in Shrouded. We're going to be playing Dune Awakening together. Um, who knows what else we're going to play together. So stick around because I stream all of it here on my channel, live daily on YouTube, also on Twitch, so you can follow along there as well. And support where you can. Keeps me on the air full time. There's also a Patreon, a Discord, and we're on all socials. So I'll see everybody in the next one. Stay safe. Happy gaming.